George. Would you be happy if, it, if that happens, Mikel, or not? I would not be unhappy with them anybody in because we couldn't. Um, it's because the players that we want to bring in have to be really players that are going to help us and make a difference in the squad, not by the shake of just bringing players. Josh. Mikel, it's uh, less than a month since we last faced Chelsea. What have you learned about your team in that time? Well, a lot of things happened. It seems uh, longer than a month to be fair. The amount of games that we trained, the amount of things that happened. Um, Yes, a lot of things change, uh, a lot of positives that I'm finding in terms of reactions and the things that I've taken them on board, um, the way we have managed to change a little bit the energy and the atmosphere and the relationship and the chemistry with our fans, which was massively important for us. So, yes, in terms of results, it could have been a little bit different. I think we've been very unlucky and and other aspects as well that have influenced that. But uh, in general, yeah. Scored. Arsenal scored first in each of the last five games, but only won two of those. How concerning is that that the leads are slipping? Yeah, and the way we considered, I think the last two goals as well uh, was a little bit hurting. And um, we have to try to make uh, a difference when we are first in the scoreline. We need to have to have the ambition still to score the second and the third goal, uh, where we had the opportunities to do so. Um, and yeah, in the final moments in the in the Premier League, they never the game is close. Eddie and Ketia played the last 15 minutes against Sheffield United. You've said that you want him to to stay at the club rather than go out on loan somewhere else. Mm. How big a role? Well, it would depend on the circumstances and the players we have available, his performance, the way he trains, um, the impact that he makes every time he plays. He's a young player, but I have to treat him exactly the same as the other ones. And the other day I put him in the pitch because I think he deserves it, the way he trained, the way he's um, showing every day how much he wants it. And uh, it would depend on him. You talk about needing to get the, the second and, and, and the third goals. Um, Alex Lacazette, after the match of the weekend, said he felt Arsenal were uh, quite naive and they need to be nastier, particularly towards the end of matches. Mm. Is that something you agree with? Yes, I think it's part of the game management. And um, I think there were things that we could have done better there uh, to put more pressure on the opponents, to bring the ball into certain areas where we can rest with the ball and we can control the game um, better. Um, that will come. It's a, it's a good process for us as well to learn about those situations. As far as the league is concerned, six matches, one win, one defeat, four draws. Um, is it difficult to, to convince the players that things are going in the right direction, even though the results kind of aren't going for you? I don't have that feeling. I think the feedback I'm getting from them it's, um, is very positive. Um, they know when we haven't won the reasons why, and there are many different aspects to that. Some that we can influence, some that we cannot influence, but they are there, um, and they are very aware of that. You mentioned, you mentioned earlier that you played Chelsea less than a month ago. Mm -hmm. What did you learn about your team from that match, specifically that match? Not well, I think it's different from there to now. Um, I love the first 30, 35 minutes, the way we went about it, um, how aggressive we were, how, you know, how much we wanted to attack them, put them under pressure. It's the kind of win that uh, we wanted to play. After that, we had a little bit of a setback. They changed the system and we <coughs> found it a little bit more difficult to, to deal with that. And we started to defend deep without really considering anything and had some great opportunities on the break as well. But I think physically as well on that moment, it was harder for us to try to maintain the same amount of energy and against Chelsea, that's vital. So do you, do you, is, is that how you will approach it tomorrow? With that, that high level of energy, but for longer than 30 minutes? It doesn't matter where we go. My ambition always gonna go, go anywhere and, and win, play our way and uh, go with the same direction all the time and with the same intention. Tenth in the table at the moment. Um, you're ten points behind Chelsea, ten points off the top four place. Is, is this a match you 
must win really if you are going to finish in the top four. It's really important. Tomorrow games it was, it's uh, very very important if we want to have the aim to to fight for um, for that. Um, it was as well the game that we play at home. It could have made a big difference, and we were very close to it. So, so yeah, tomorrow we need uh, we need a win. Uh, we are what two thirds of the way through January. We are two thirds of the way through uh, the transfer window. Um, are things any any closer in terms of the arrivals? Things haven't moved uh, at all since the weekend. The club is continuing to be linked with Leban Casala at, at PSG. Um, their sporting director Leonardo has said that there hasn't been any phone call from from Arsenal. Is, is that your understanding as well? There is nothing new to say on any individual players, and when we have more info, we'll let you know. Do you think you might go through the month without getting anyone? In? It's a possibility, yes. George, would you be happy if it, if that happens, Mikel, or not? About bringing my players in. I would not be unhappy with them anybody in because we couldn't. Um, it's because the players that we want to bring in have to be really players that are going to help us and make a difference in the squad, not by the shake of just bringing players. You mentioned you're 10 points behind Chelsea. Are you surprised that the race to the top four, you can still finish in the top four? Are you surprised that the other teams yeah. aren't well ahead now? Everybody is having a lot of problems to put back-to-back uh, -back wins. You know, it's uh, the league has been a very, very competitive this season. And, uh, and that's why the gaps are not that big. You know, there's still another four months to play. A lot of things happen, a lot of games uh, between the top teams as well. So I think that will change. I mean, it's a lot of points to make up. Do you think the league's the best way back for Champions League football or winning the Europa League at the moment? What would you say would be the easiest for Arsenal to achieve? We don't know at the moment. Uh, for me, the only way to do it is work every single day trying to improve those players, trying to make them um, feel comfortable on the pitch and with the ideas that we are putting together and um, get every performance as good as we can and that will take us closer to every game. To look further than that now, I think it's, it's difficult and unrealistic. Is Martinelli going to start tomorrow? I Just don't know. Because there was a story about him possibly going to Brazil. Well, I don't know if you've answered that mm. before, but is he staying with the squad for the next couple of weeks? Or? It's something that we're discussing with the club at the moment and, um, and with Gabi as well. And, um, and if we know something, we'll let you know. And in terms of Chelsea, are you going to watch that match back with the players and point out? Possibly where they went wrong, because like you say, you really we well. always review our matches um, afterwards. And obviously, when you play in short time, you have to see the things that happen and the reason why, things that we can improve, things that we did well. So, of course, we review it. Thank you. Thanks, guys.